Hi, I'm Chad Chadson, District Manager. Nice to meet you. I'm the bone, and I'm gonna pound that vault. Just do what we tell you. Nobody will get hurt. <laughs> Crap. Of all the banks I'm the district manager of, it had to be this one today. What's in the bag? Marshmallows. Oh, they're just marshmallows, everyone. Don't be afraid. They're stale marshmallows. Come get some, boys! <laughs> Honestly, take what you need. It's all insured. Wayne! Thank God I got here in time. We don't have an oxygen tank. We must be dying up here. We need your help. Everyone, these are dark times we're living in. Economic ruin, terror cells discovered in the catacombs of Paris, and Canada's vast maple leaf stores have run completely dry. Bro, bro, I ate pancakes without syrup this morning, swear to god. Anyways, on top of everything, a criminal of unprecedented abilities has been robbing banks without challenge for nearly a week. With no challenge? What, no police? Well, they're busy, holiday shopping, but we've finally been able to stop him, and we've enlisted genius criminal behaviorist Albert Huxley to help us. Dr. Huxley, would you like to take the floor? Thank you, General. Today, we face a challenge professionals in my field have never seen before. Typically, we study the criminal behaviors of men, but this man is more than just a man. Like, he's a robot? No, Simpleton. No, Simpleton. He's just a man, but more than one. A man whose mannery goes beyond most men's manhood and into a realm of supermanishness and megagantic machismo. This is he. He's known professionally as the Bone. The Bone is a man forged by the tragic circumstances of his childhood. Over and over again, the Bone broke the same arm. Over and over and over. With each successive break, his arm became a monster of torque and godlike power. Every break, always caused by accidents, filled him with an animalistic rage, causing the Bone to dedicate his life to revenge on an unjust world. Naturally, he did what any person bent on vengeance would do with newfound godlike powers. He became a bank robber. Oh, the name's about his arm. I get it now, bro. Bones don't even get stronger when they break. Well, who says that, bro? Uh, science and stuff. Well, technically, science doesn't say anything. That's a reification fallacy. Well, who says that? Uh, logic and stuff. All right, everyone, let's move on. I'll resolve this, everyone. Since I'm a freaking astrophysicist, let's say we send our boys in there to stop this caucus guy. Then what? We get in there, run into a few problems along the way, get some outside assistance when in a tough spot. Finally, after stalling for about 15 minutes, we ask Wayne for his help. He saves the day, and then we all go home happy. Yes, I imagine it'll go exactly that way. What we need to do is get into the criminal mind. Understand everything they do. Feel what they feel. Know why they make the decisions they make. Why, after all, some believe society's ills are what cause deviant behavior. Which I guess shows, we all could become criminals, under the right circumstances. Well, sure, but we wouldn't become criminals. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, sure. So Rick, Wayne, and Dr. Huxley, we're gonna send you out to stop this bone fellow before he can rob another bank. Sounds awesome! Where's he gonna strike next? Oh, man. Yeah, I forgot. We have no idea. We pretty much just have to wait for him to rob another bank. So, bro. You guys see that sports game the other day? Oh, you mean where those sports players made those sports plays? Yeah, and that sports team made all those sports points? Yeah, those were great sports. 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 That's our cue. Team, go. Der Mann Karte wird einer der Schwendung von ihrer Seite. Uh, yeah. And Rick, you know where to get your funding. Sorry. The bone already showed up here and peeled off what he needed. I guess we're walking. There it is. The first national bank. I had no idea this was the first bank ever made in our nation. That's not what it means, Simpleton. I'm pretty sure it is. I learned a lot on Wall Street. Hey, what are you doing? Jaywalking is breaking the law. 
you could get a bad look or something. I can't jaywalk. That's against the law. You don't have to be a criminologist to know that. But wait. I am a criminologist. Maybe me knowing the law makes it so I can bend it a little, since I have a far better grasp of it. Yeah. Yeah. We got you! Wait! This isn't the Bone and his crew! These are just potato sacks made to look like them! And this bank has been robbed already. No, they didn't take anything. What do you mean? How do you know they didn't take anything? I'm Chad Chadson, district manager here at the National Bank. Now wait a second. This is the first national bank, which means it's the first bank in our nation, right? Of course. Established in 1776. What else could it mean? Now why would the bone not rob this bank? Bankist? Well, he said now that everyone's done with holiday shopping, the cops should be more on top of things. So he used us as a diversion. Of course, I'm here. Again. Though one of his crew had a great cookie recipe. We exchanged it this time. We're gonna have to call this one into the general. See what we can do next so we can save all this money. The money's all insured, so we'll be fine. No need to be hasty. Sorry, sir. They seem to have slipped past us. They're good. Maybe the best. Definitely pros. Gosh, I didn't want to resort to this, but our hands are tied. We can't have another bank get robbed. We're going to have to do the most vile thing we could possibly do to get ahead of the game. Why don't we just ask Wayne for help? I hear he's quite good. Yes, it would be simpler that way, but we don't bother Wayne unless it's absolutely necessary. So we're going to go to the most horrid place in human existence so we can get ahead of the game and avoid asking Wayne for help. Sir, if I know where you're going with this, I'm not sure I can follow that order. Even if I was still a Navy SEAL of three years who would go to my death on the whim of an officer even slightly higher rank than me. You're gonna have to do me a solid here, Rick. Okay. This sounds really bad. How is this horrible thing going to help us? Even Rick's upset. I'll tell you why. Because you're going to talk to an individual. An individual who is the lowest form of creature this Earth has ever seen. A being so depraved, so ungodly and horrific, snakes slither away in horror of his repulsiveness. Empires fall and cities may burn to the ground, but their tragic fate is in no way a match for the waking nightmare that is this being's vile and corrupt existence. He knows wickedness like no other, and that's the reason he'll understand the bone. Just maybe his evil heart can lead this lost little horse to water, and from there we can drink our fill. Exceptional speech! I know, right? So, Rick, what'll it be? Okay, I'll do it, but I need a raise. Fine. From this point on, you make minimum wage. Sweet! Rick, get the milk in the saucer. You're going to talk to Cat Casanova. So what is this Cat Casanova? Every nightmare happening at once. But you know it's real, and you can't wake up. What is he? A monster? Worse. Cat Casanova, we need your help. This is perfect. We need to find the bone before he robs another bank. We thought maybe you'd have some context that- Every once in a while, there's this little red dot that appears in front of me. I attack it as fast as I can, but it's too quick. I put my paws on it, and then the little red dot appears on top of my paw. Wait, what? A laser pen? That's not what we're talking about. Do you like 2% or 1% man? I don't follow, sir. We're just trying to stop the bone. Hey, you guys should come over more often. Did you get my text the other day? Uh, I just haven't gotten to it. Wait, no. We're talking about stopping the bone. Bones? You know who likes bones? Dogs. Man, I hate dogs. Always sleeping, eating, and relaxing. What animal does that, honestly? Hey, have you guys seen my new relaxing bed and eating dish? Nova, we need help. Please pay attention. No, I don't pay too much for rent. Hey, come to my house and we should discuss this thing uh, you're here for. Is that really necessary? Of course, of course. I'll put my thinking cat on. Now I understand. Fine, we'll go. You pay rent for this? Here we are, home sweet per. That one doesn't even make sense. I can't handle these Cat Casanova politics. Politics. All right, Cat Casanova, I think we have all the information you have. Wait, I've got your information right here. Blast. Well, honestly, this is the best information we've ever gotten from him. Hey, let's call the general again. See you, Nova. Crap, you're calling. I know what this means. Sir, we've run out of options. What do we do now? I didn't want to do this, but we're against a wall. Wayne, we need your help. <sighs> what do we do, Wayne? Why don't you just have the armed guards at the bank shoot him? That's incredible. Fantastic! Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of doing next. Good job, Wayne. And now, we wait. <laughs>
You've got to be kidding me! I'm the bone, and I'm gonna bone you! Well, you're gonna have to bone me first. I'm under special instruction to take you guys out. Ugh, darn marshmallows. I'm dying, boss. You're gonna make it! No, Bone. I'm not. It's not meant to be. What do you mean? Like God means it to be? No, this isn't God. There's someone who makes all this. Someone cruel. With absolutely no life. What do you mean? I'm... the foil. Now you're just rambling. No, you don't get it. I'm a literary device. I'm your foil, you see? You say or do something funny, and I'm there to make a funny face. Or say a funny quip about what you just said so the audience knows to laugh. The audience? You're losing your mind. You've lost too much blood. No, Bone. I'm seeing clearer than ever. I'm supposed to die. My death will enrage you, which will then create the impetus for a climatic battle at a dramatic locale that will surely end in your defeat by someone just in the nick of time. It's gonna be pretty sweet, though. You can't die on me. You're my right-hand man. How am I gonna finish this job without my right hand? Man. I know. And that's all I am. Because I was never given a name. The ramblings of a dying man. So sad. So misinformed. We're not going to let this stand. From this point on, my only goal is vengeance. I'm going to show them that you don't kill my friends. What are we going to do, boss? We're going to rob the biggest bank there is. Four Knox. Aha! Uh -huh. You fools! What are you doing here? We're here to stop you, poo-poo head. And now we know your plan. You think I came here unprepared? <laughs> What's your game, Bone? You have five minutes. Five miles from here in each direction, there's two isolated locations. In each location, there is one individual. In one place, there's an extremely elderly man, clearly with only a couple years left to live, who has made his will and is ready to pass on. In the other location is your friend, Cat Casanova. Make your choice. You can only save one of them. Try to make that decision. Oh god, what are we going to do? One guy's on the brink of death, and the other's not quite a man. Gosh, this is such a moral dilemma. But wait, what if we didn't save either? What if we just let them both die? Then we could stop the bone. He's gonna hurt more people in the long run anyways, right? The old guy! Save the old guy! Crap! Well, you'll never catch me! <laughs> Where'd they go? The smoke bomb completely blinded me! Blast! He got away! We have to recover that money! As I said earlier, the money's insured. We're good. No need to hurt. Let's do it for Chad, guys! You know, I myself am in finance. You see, I'm Chad Chadson, district manager of the First National Bank. Oh yeah, boys! Let's get a massive gold on! Ah, come on, I'm off today! What's the status, officer? The bone's in there with two guys. There's only one security guard in there for some reason, though. Crap. I thought this whole thing was over. What's over, sir? Holiday shopping. Must be some darn good deals out there right now. Man, I forgot to do that. Sir, we got communication with the security guard inside. Are you there? Yeah, but don't worry about it. He can't get to the vault. He's got no shot. What makes you think that, soldier? Let's just say we got a secret weapon. I like to see you get past the three pigs defense. My oh my, he made it through the three pigs defense. There's just the vault now, just a ten foot thick steel vault door and it's over. What are we gonna do? We'll handle this, sir. Oh, thank God. Let's do this! Oh! <laughs>
Oh god, what have I done? I just killed that poor guy. I should go to prison. Am I no better than him? Well, I was trying to protect the vault after all, and all that is taxpayer money. Yeah, and I was just defending myself. I didn't enjoy it at all. No, not one bit. Prepare yourself to go in, men. Security guard says it looks bad in there. Don't worry about the money. We got it handled. Who are you and what do you mean handled? Floyd Malcolm, Treasury Secretary. And by handled, I mean we took care of it. The bone's not gonna get a penny of that money. So you moved it from here before you got to it? Good work, Mr. Secretary. Uh, yeah, yeah, moved it. Sir, you forgot the receipt for your Lambo detail. Hey, uh, I mean, uh, that's not mine. Yeah, kid. I'll just take this for, uh, safekeeping. You know, in case I run into the guy who owns this. Did not see that coming! Remember me. What's your name? Crap. You saved me, Huxley! Cool gun! Huxley? What's this gun all about? This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world, Rick. Society's trying to bring me down. What are you doing, sir? You no criminal? You're a criminologist! I'm both now. You people will never understand us. Alone, alienated, cast out by society. I'm an institutional man now. I have to take what society's denied me. I will destroy everything. I escaped, and I'm coming to save you guys. Cats always land on their feet. Time to show the whole world the only logical recourse when you kill my friend. That doesn't make sense. What would you know, normal arms? Ah! What? Where'd the money go? Yeah! I'm gonna break your arm. Do it! I'll only come back stronger than before! Good. Then maybe you'll be ready! Yeah! This won't be the last time you'll see me. Where's the bone? I can't see past the smoke. Preparing. Well, I guess the day's saved. Thanks, Wayne. Too bad we never got any of that money back. Sorry, Chad. I guess we couldn't save your bank after all. Yeah, I told you guys like three times before, the money's not a big deal. It's all insured. This whole thing has been a giant waste of time.